And this Northern Area quarter-final auto glass trophy game gets underway. Free kick to County. David Frayne and Peter Ward. Oh, he's gone for it himself, Ward, and not far away either. Well, he scored two or three spectacular goals from uh, dead ball situations, and he does fancy himself every time. In fact, it's a free kick. Gannon! Oh! Hit the post. Oh, that's not a bad ball either. Oh, and a great goal! Oh, what a great goal! That was a cracker! Peter Ward! After 20 minutes, plus the visitors 1-0 in front, he made room for himself and curled the shot beyond Whitehead. Just for a second, I thought the ball might have gone wide. It's nestled in the corner, and County... And a goal in front. It's county players, one Bradford player in the wall. It's a direct free kick. Oh, it's right in the wall. Does its job well. Oh, and the follow up's gone in. Ball duel. A great strike. Just two minutes after County have worked so hard for the lead. The first shot on target from the home side results in the equaliser. County free kick. It's, uh, Gary Williams. On Paul Williams that's uh, got the uh, booking. Francis! Oh, he scored! The big man gets on the Bill Williams, the end of Bill Williams' is free kick. And it's in the corner and County are back in the lead. In the 32nd minute, the big man's done it for the second time this season against Bradford City. Well, that maybe justifies the boos by the home supporters on Francis. They don't like him. But Kevin Francis will tell you. The more the home supporters or away supporters to county fans cheer him, the more it eggs him on. Oh, well played, David Frayne. Now for Chris Beaumont to run on. It's three against two. Beaumont. Oh, he's been brought down without any question by Blake. And that's almost certainly going to be a booking. Francis was very wide then as Beaumont was fed by Frayne. Ran into the open space. Pushed the ball past Blake, who turned his body into Beaumont. Well, he's been spoken to. And he will be the second Bradford City player to receive a yellow card. Checking his number. Mr Harrison will have the name of Noel Blake to Carl Will uh, Gary Williams as the second Bradford City player to receive a caution and also it gives County and more importantly Peter Ward the opportunity to increase the lead I'm sure that Ward will fancy this one from here Frayne will be with him maybe he'll fancy it as well Peter Ward's touches tonight so far have looked very very good Touches were looking good. Brilliant free kick. Never ever a question. As soon as it's left his foot, it's in the back of the net. And Ward has scored twice. County have scored three. And after 36 minutes, Stockport County have scored three away goals to Bradford City's one.
Oh, Peter Ward. Two great goals. The game is still a long way from over, but County really have looked sharp in these uh, opening 45 minutes. And the result is a Stockport County free kick to be taken by Bill Williams. Looking for the big man again, who gets a touch. On oh, his Beaumont! <laughs> Trying to look for a way through, but the uh, attempted cross gets blocked. No Blake with it. Hoof back in. No direction on it, though. Good ball back from Priest to Beaumont. Great first time ball to Francis. He's on his left foot, though. Oh, he put it on his right foot and he buried it! Big man done it again! What a great ball through from Beaumont. Francis always pushed wide onto his left foot, was never closed down, had time to readjust himself and bury it past the keeper with his right foot. And after 52 minutes, can you believe it? It's Bradford City 1, Stockport County 4. Two for Ward and two for Francis. And Chris Beaumont it was, back doing a defensive job then. Williams finds Francis. Good ball by Francis to Miller. Great ball by Miller to Lee Todd. This is a good build-up. If Francis can get on the end of it, which he can, and it wasn't far away. That really was a good build-up. And another good build-up down the left by Bradford. Oh, he's given a penalty then against Jim Gannon. And I think I'm right in saying that that's Gary Williams again. The scorer of the first goal. In front of the City fans, looking to pull it back to 4-2. Oh, that's a great penalty, right in the corner. Oh, can you believe it? Paul Williams this time upends one of the Bradford players. And from 4-1, it's 4-2. And another penalty. Well, this could spell all kinds of problems for County. And it's the first one of the three players on two goals. Gary Williams has got a chance to make it a hat-trick. There didn't seem much danger then as Williams faces Edwards. And he's put it in exactly the same spot. And Stockport County have just the one goal lead. And it's all over! And full credit to Stockport County, because for the last 20 minutes, they really did have to defend in numbers against the Bradford City team, given fresh impotence by two penalties, one against Gannon and one against Williams. But in the end, four goals courtesy of a brace each from Ward and Francis, see Stockport County progress to the semi-final stages of the Autoglass Trophy. What a great game, another seven-goal thriller between these two sides, and it's Stockport County that progressed through. At the end here, at Valley Parade, it's Bradford City 3, Stockport County 4.